Hey, welcome to Jesse Waters Primetime. I'm Brian Kilmeade, filling, filling in for Jesse tonight. Let's get started. In his classic novel, 1984, George Orwell warned the world of the dangers of government addicted to power, one where the narrative was controlled by the state and the people were forced to bend a knee. Truth-telling became the cardinal sin of Orwell's dystopian state, where a power-hungry state reigned in on shutting down free speech and was all guided by what Orwell termed the Ministry of Truth, a propaganda branch of the state in his book whose priority was to control all forms of public information, where industries like journalism, entertainment, and art were all controlled by Big Brother and, and the state told you what the truth was actually in their mind, which was the truth accepted. Now, the people had no say in any of it. They were forced to listen and they were forced to follow. Now, Orwell's book was meant as a warning to the world that this kind of society could become reality under the wrong people if the wrong people were in charge. But it looks like the Biden administration is taking Orwell's work not as a warning, but as their own manual. Now, yesterday, the White House announced a brand new department called the Disinformation Governments Board. I'm not kidding. A board aimed towards tackling disinformation ahead of the 2022 midterm elections. Here's Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas confirming it yesterday. Watch. We have just established a mis- and disinformation governance board in the Department of Homeland Security to more effectively um, combat uh, this threat, not only to election security, uh, but to our homeland security. We are uh, addressing all aspects of election security, um, given, of course, the midterm elections that are upon us and the fundamental uh, integrity of our democratic processes that is at stake. Now, DHS says the group was meant to focus on misinformation about Russia, irregular migration, too. But we can read between the lines. This disinformation push is going to extend to all facets of free speech. We've seen this drill. Here's Jen Psaki today dodging that question. Can you give us an idea of what this board is going to be doing, what their authority would look like? How sure, that... Jackie. I really haven't dug into this exactly. I mean, we, of course, support this effort, but let me see if I can get more specifics. We know that there has been a range of disinfo out there about a range of topics, I mean, including COVID, for example, and also elections and eligibility. But I will, I will check and see if there's more specifics. There's... She doesn't want to dig into it yet. Here's the real deal. Democrats are looking down the barrel of a giant midterm clobbering in November. Their own pollsters are saying it. And after Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter this week, they've lost their grip over the one thing that helped them win in 2020 more than anything else, perhaps, control over big tech. So now they're desperate and they're willing to do anything to hold on to this power. And they see it slipping away, even if it means creating a state-led censorship division, where instead of relying on big tech, They'll just do it themselves. So Joe Biden's goal is to control the discourse and soften the blow come the midterms. Censor anyone that points out the obvious, that de Democratic policies so far have failed the American people spectacularly. Force out anyone that points to his mishandling of the border, his record on high inflation numbers, out of control crime. Most of all, his role in his son's overseas business deals. Not just his son, but his role in it. And Joe Biden just happens to be putting the job in the hands of the biggest misinformer of truth that he could find. A woman named Nina Jakowitz, who earlier this week reacted to Elon buying Twitter with this statement. I shudder to think about if the free absolutionists were taking over more platforms, what that would look like for the marginalized communities, which are already shouldering disproportionate amounts of this abuse. Really? Marginalized communities on Twitter? That's the problem? So the person who's going to be in charge of free speech in America is shuddering over the thought of giving people free speech in America. What she actually wants to do is take control of it, and she's not even hiding it. She's on record saying this quote, remember, quote, by all means, let's regulate social media, but let's do it with the proper thought and consultation with the nation's best interest at heart. Now, with the sweep of a Sharpie in response to a specter of political censorship that doesn't exist. Sound like she's worried about Republicans having too much freedom? It does to me. I mean, she was the one that was shuddering over the thought of Trump supporters showing up to the polls in 2020. Watch. I think there's a general concern about Trump supporters potentially showing up armed to the polls to intimidate people and quote unquote watch, and that's very disturbing. It sounds like misinformation to me. Am I correct? Speaking of misinformation, 
She ran cover for the deep state's attempt to discredit Hunter's laptop. And this, to me, is the most damning. She's supposed to be an expert in this area. Quote, disinformation experts say there are multiple red flags that raise doubts about the authenticity we should view it as a Trump campaign product. Really? Trump came up with a laptop and made it up? That's her expertise? Even calling the whole story, quote, a fairy tale about a laptop repair shop. Needless to say, the Washington Post and New York Times says it's all authentic. That's exactly the kind of speech, Czar, that Joe Biden wants. She like, did they do a background check on this woman? Someone that he knows will water down his corrupt family deals and sweep his son's federal indictment under the rug. You see, this is all about putting the ball in the Democrats' court. Since Democrats can't win on substance, they have to rely on their control to win. they got to control the message. So Joe Biden wants to act like Big Brother and enforce his own ministry of truth. He's got the bureau already. All an effort to keep you from knowing about his disastrous White House and force you uh, into silence, perhaps, since they have an election to win, or at least hold on to some type of power, maybe the Senate. At the end of the day, all they ever care about is power. And now, the American people are watching George Orwell's dystopian society become reality. I just gave you the facts. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.